There are a lot of great gameplay mods out there, and I find myself always using a few, and they all come from the same person. Utility mods can save time and frustration, and Twisted Maxi has several that can save you from repetitive tasks. Since a lot of these are not super deep, let's just do a showcase of various mods he offers and what they'll do for your gameplay or building. These are in no particular order, it's just based on when I played with them today. <laughs> I feel this first one is a good example of how Twisted Maxi has kind of taken it upon himself to fix things that bug the community. Very recently, The Sims 4 got a redesign. Uh, the community was negative in general about the new loading screens and quote, refreshed look of the game. Using his clean UI mod, you can have the old style main menu and loading screens back. It was more important to people when we had the bright blue before it was toned down a bit. But you still might hate the look and slipping one little package file into your mods folder can fix that. Now let's look at one of Mexi's newer mods. Tool stands for takes objects off lot. For builders it's a nice addition. You're able to place objects outside the boundaries of your lot with this. It takes a little getting used to and maybe some trial and error to get it right. So how do you use it? Well, you first tag an object as active using the tool menu found when you shift click. Then shift click on the ground somewhere and enter X, Y coordinates, either positive or negative numbers. It sounds hard, but it's not hard and there is an undo function. Once you've got it near where you'd like, you can use smaller numbers to fine tune it a little. It only moves 25 spaces at once, but you can go significantly further than that by using it multiple times. When I was playing with this, I couldn't help but wonder what that steamboat would look like with the set as head cheat. Well, here's that result. I can't help it. I have to share this. Okay, so next up, all cheats. Many of you won't remember, but when The Sims 4 launched, we had a hilariously small list of cheats available from EA. They were totally tone deaf and hit a lot of them. I'm sure plenty of people dug into the code, but Mexi popularized a lot of the cheats we use today. Back around the season's launch, EA restricted the hidden cheats we used and all cheats restores them. Yes, you can break your game with certain cheats, but responsible use is unlikely to cause problems. For people like me, all cheats is a godsend. I can make it sunny when I want to, make a sim into a vampire, or force a pregnancy without being restricted. In short, with this mod, you will be able to use all the cheats you'll find listed online. Twisted Maxi also maintains a few cheats that eliminate repetitive behaviors and commands. You can ensure that testing cheats is always on, saving you a little typing. It's also possible to always have the Move Objects cheat enabled, which is handy for people who like to build and share their creations. Finally, you can always have cast.full edit mode enabled in your game, allowing you to modify Sims' bodies, age, and traits. Do you hate going into build mode to make one tiny adjustment? Well, this mod has you covered. With his live drag mod, you can adjust any object by simply dragging it around. This even works on things like refrigerators and doors. I love this mod, but it's definitely a matter of taste as you can accidentally move things if you're not careful and who knows what might happen if a sim happens to be interacting with that object. Better Exceptions is yet another useful mod and probably one that could help some mod makers out there. What it means for you as a player is knowing in general which of the mods you're using has caused an exception or error. The game may break due to mods after an update and this will let you know something might be out of date. In particular, it's great for people who use a lot of mods as you can sort out which one is broken. You can then look for a new version or report it to the mod maker and see if they can do something with the information. As you can see, you get a nice report window when an exception is thrown. In this case, I had reloaded and tried to move an object without first tagging it as active with tool. so. Not really the mod's fault. Now something for players who own island living. One of the aggravating things about Sulani is you're not even able to make basements. This mod addresses that with some caveats. Unfortunately, not much can be done about the ocean floor and Sims being morons about routing with a pool by the water, but it's fun for builders to play around with. 
For players, it is possible to get functional basements with this mod. You just can't build where the ocean floor is on the first basement level. For two plus levels deep, this isn't a problem. It seems like maybe basements are restricted just because of this, the confusion that this would cause. Pools are probably restricted for good reason, but it's something we should probably have expected to be able to do. I regret to inform that terrain tools just aren't possible to use in Solani. Mexi's attempted to get it working, but I believe he said that textures were missing. So it largely requires EA's intervention to get terrain tools working in Solani. There's quite a lot more I won't list here. Mexi offers several more mods that do little things. Want vampires that won't burn in the sun? Would you like to sell the entire family inventory at once? How about the ability to refund club perk points? Is having more than 8 sims in a household something you'd like or to disable weather in build mode? Remove the character value system from parenthood or skip Strangerville's story? All of these is doable with a quick visit to Mexi's Patreon. It took me less than 10 minutes to install almost all of his mods. You just might want to skip always free build as you can't use the family inventory and have unlimited building funds with it. Move objects is also a matter of taste. All his mods are free, but you can support him for a couple bucks and get early access. He's been quick to update his mods on every new patch and is one of the more responsive mod makers out there. Many people contribute to The Sims 4 and I plan to cover them, but when I myself regularly use the mods created by a person, I feel I should do my part to share their work. I have plans to get in some deeper mods that bring gameplay mechanics and add features that players wish existed. The Sims modding community goes way back and 4 is one of those games where if you haven't modded it, you haven't really seen what it's capable of. As you can see, I've attempted to make Patreon credits, although it seems like they scroll a bit fast. I'm not sure what to do about this. But I appreciate the support and I'd like to do something to show that. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend.